tell me, how many advent calendars are too many advent calendars for one person? Totally asking for a friend because I, I did not buy the Archer and all of the advent calendar when it came out. Not at all. Okay, you can all see that I am being a little facetious here. I did get the Archer and Olive advent calendar when I placed my winter order. I have not opened the advent calendar yet. So it comes with a journal and it is still in the box, still in the plastic. Now let's see if I can get, you can see this one on the website. You can see it. It's a uh, little like candy in a deep teal. It's an A5 dot grid. So that is the notebook that comes in the advent calendar. And then you have this box here, which has all of your 12 days, your little countdown. I have not opened any of these. I have not watched the spoiler video. I am really trying to let myself be surprised when it comes to the advent calendars. So I haven't opened these yet. I will be doing some kind of video or reel or short or whatever to kind of like show off what's in the advent calendar on the days that they're supposed to be open. So stay tuned for that. I will show you what else is available in the winter collection. I did not realize how much I needed stamps in my life until I got the Archer and Olive sub box that had the box with the letters in it. So when they came out with the script letters, I had to have them. The script letters also come in the nice wooden box. You open it up and you have all of your letters plus explanation and a question mark. And here it is in comparison to the other one. As you can see, I've used these, so they're all... You, can you tell that I was spelling out Black Friday and photo? Yeah. Um, so this is the sub box, which is a capital letter um, print and then a lowercase script. So I'm very excited to use these. The only thing is, is now I need more ink pads because I only have the little brown one that came with the um, sub box ones. Let me know in the comments where your favorite stamp pads are from and which ones you like and why, because I need to find some. This is another thing I didn't know I needed in my life until a sub box came out and they have the little uh, stamper. So now I have the wax and the melting pot to go with that stuff because I haven't really been able to play with it because I didn't have any other wax or any way to like use the wax besides what came in the sub box. So here is what is in the kit. You get the little spoon, little thingy here, a little warmer melter and then it came with this for wax and it's like silver and black i'm so excited to try this out and of course i had to get the wax seal that came out with the winter and that is this cute little like snow globe, with a little house and winter scene inside. So I am so excited now to get wax sealing everything. I grabbed the All That Glitters Acrylographs and I'm very excited about this because glitter. So here are the caps for those. I have not tried these out yet, but look at that. That looks awesome. And these do not have the names on the barrels, so I'm going to have to look these up on their website to know what colors they are. And eventually I will do a swatch notebook and show you all of the acrylographs. So 
I'm so excited to try these. I just don't know what I'm going to try them for yet, but I love these colors. And I could not resist the winter themed stickers. And I got both sets. I got the little decorative ones and I got the planner journal ones. So I really like these colors, um, kind of like deep blue, light blue, greens, not like your traditional red and greens, but really, really pretty. And here are the close up on the planners. So I love the little knit items for like the days of the week, your to do's. Very, very pretty. I love the colors. I know I just said that. So as usual, you get two of each of those sheets. I had to have this notebook because I love the colors in it. So you have this gray, like a light gray, then you have a dark gray, then you have this kind of like greenish gray, and then this really pretty green. So I love their notepads. Tear them off. Uh, you can use these in Dutch doors. You can make notes. You can make artwork with them. The colors they picked for this winter collection are just so beautiful and so me. I love gray. And I love this color palette, the greens and the blues together. So pretty. And lastly, I had to get the vegan leather cover because I love this color. It's like this really light gray. And I love the look of this. Sorry, I haven't opened this yet, so bear with me. Okay, so a little tight at first, but I'm sure once you've opened it up a few times, it will get easier. So the little silver hardware here and just slip it in and out of the holes. Open it up. This is for A5s. So you've got your part here to put your the back of your journal in. And you've got like a little front flap. So you could, you know, put a couple sticker sheets in there. Let me grab an A5 journal so we can see what it looks like in the holder. Okay, the only A5 that I have readily available is the messy and bright one. So let's see if we can figure this out. Slide it in like that. I think I pulled it too far. There we go. So it takes a little bit to like push it through there at first, but then you can kind of adjust it to where you need. And, oh. Maybe I didn't adjust it to where I need. I think it needs to go there. Yes, user error, y'all, user error. So that is it when it's got the journal in it. It's like a little envelope. It'd be very easy to carry around with you. So that is the vegan leather A5 uh, journal something holder. This is everything I grabbed from the winter launch. Let me know in the comments, did you get an advent calendar? Even if it wasn't Archer and Olive. And if you did, do you spoil it for yourself or are you saving it for December? And I'd love to hear your thoughts on the winter collection, what you liked, what you didn't like, all of that fun stuff in the comments. And until next time, may your planning and coffee be strong.